Reading through the Bible in one year, May 21st, Numbers 29, 7 through 40, Psalms 20 and 21, Isaiah 9, 1 through 10, 4, and Revelation 16, 17 through 17, 18. On the tenth day of this seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation and afflict yourselves. You shall do no uh, work, but you shall offer a burnt offering to the Lord, a pleasing aroma. One bull from the herd, one uh, ram, seven male lambs a year old. See that they are without blemish, and their grain offering shall be of fine flour mixed with oil. Three tenths of an ephah. Uh, for the bull, two tenths for the one ram, a tenth for each of the seven lambs, also one uh, male goat for a sin offering, besides the sin offering of atonement, and the regular burnt offering and its grain offering, and their drink offerings. On the fifteenth day of the seventh month, you shall have a holy convocation. You shall not do any ordinary work. And you shall keep a feast to the Lord seven days, and you shall offer a burnt offering, a food offering, with a pleasing aroma to the Lord. Thirteen bulls from the herd, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old, they shall be without blemish, and their grain offerings of fine flour mixed with oil. Three tenths of an ephah uh, for each of the thirteen bulls, two tenths for each of the two rams, and a tenth for each of the fourteen lambs, and also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the second day, twelve bulls from the herd, two rams, fourteen lambs, sorry, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, um, all the, sorry, with the grain offering and the drink offering for the bulls, for the rams, for the lambs, in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, and its grain offering, and their drink offerings. On the third day, eleven bulls, two rams, fourteen lambs, a male, sorry, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs uh, in the prescribed quantities, also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offerings and its grain offerings and its drink offering. On the fourth day, Ten bulls, two rams, fourteen male lamb, uh, if male lambs a year old without blemish, uh, with the, <clears throat> excuse me, with a grain offering, and the drink offering for the bulls, for the rams and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also, one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering, its grain offering and its drink offering. On the fifth day, nine bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish. Sound familiar? The only thing that's really changing is the uh, number of bulls. Um. With the grain offering and the drink offerings uh, for the bulls, for the rams, for the lambs in the prescribed quantities, also one male goat for a sin offering, besides the regular burnt offering and its grain offering and its drink offering. On the sixth day, eight bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offering for the bulls, for the rams, for the lambs, uh, in, sorry, in the prescribed quantities, also one male goat for a sin offering, beside the regular... Um, burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offerings. On the seventh day, seven bulls, two rams, fourteen male lambs a year old without blemish, with the grain offering and the drink offerings for the bulls, for the rams, and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering besides um, the regular burnt offering, its grain offering, and its drink offering. On the eighth day, you shall have a solemn assembly. You shall not do any ordinary work. But you shall offer for a burnt offering, a food offering, with the pleasing room to the Lord, one bull, one ram, seven male lambs a year old, without blemish, and the grain offering and the drink offering for the bull, singular, for the ram and for the lambs in the prescribed quantities. Also one male goat for a sin offering, beside the regular uh, burnt offering, Ooh, excuse me, and its grain offering, and its drink offering. These you shall offer to the Lord um, at your appointed feasts. In addition to your vow offerings and your free will offerings, those are thank offerings, um, for your burnt offerings and for your grain offerings, and for your drink offerings and for your peace offerings. So Moses told the people of Israel everything just as the Lord commanded Moses. Psalms 20 through 21.
trust in the name of the Lord our God. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the uh, name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and give you support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and regard with favor your burnt sacrifices. Selah. May he grant your, you your heart's desire and fulfill all your plans. May we shout for joy over your salvation and in the name of our God set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. He will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving might of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we trust in the name of the Lord our God. They collapse and fall, but we rise and stand upright. O Lord, save the king. May he answer us when we call. The king rejoices in the, in the Lord's strength. O Lord, in your strength the king rejoices, and in your salvation how greatly he exalts. You have given him his heart's desire, and have not withheld the request of his lips. Selah. For you meet him with rich blessings. You set a crown of fine gold upon his head. He asked life of you. You gave it to him. Length of days forever and ever. He is, sorry, his glory is great through your salvation. Splendor and majesty you bestow on him. For you make him most blessed forever. You make him glad with the joy of your presence. For the king trusts in the Lord. And through the steadfast love of the Most High, he shall not be moved. Your hand will find out all your enemies. Your right hand will find out all those who hate you. You will make them as a blazing oven when you appear. The Lord will swallow them up in his wrath, and fire will consume them. You will destroy their descendants from the earth, and their offspring from among the children of man. Though they plan evil against you, though they devise mischief, they will not succeed. For you will put them to flight. You will aim at their faces with your bows. Be exalted, O Lord, in your strength. We will sing and praise your power. Now Isaiah 9, 1 through 10, 4. But there will be no gloom for her who was in anguish. As sorry, in the former time, he brought into the contempt the land of Zebulun and the land of Naphtali. But in the latter time, he has made glorious the way of the sea, the land beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the nations. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwell, sorry, those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shone. You have multiplied the nation. You have increased its joy. They rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as they are glad when they divide the spoil. For the yoke of his burden and the staff of his, or sorry, the staff for his shoulder, the rod of his oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For every boot of the tramping uh, warrior in battle tumult, and every garment rolled in blood will be burned as fuel for the fire. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace there will be no end on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and righteousness from the time from this time forth and forevermore the zeal of the lord of hosts will do this judgment on arrogance and oppression the lord has sent a word against jacob and it will fall on israel and all the people will know ephraim and the inhabitants of samaria who say in pride and arrogance of heart, the bricks have, ha have fallen, but we will, be, we, bleh, we will rebuild with dressed stones. The sycamores have been cut down, but we will put cedars in their place. But the Lord raises the adversaries of resin against him and stirs up his enemies. The Syrians on the east and the Philistines on the west devour Israel with open mouth. For all his anger... Has still sorry has not turned away. His hand is outstretched still. 
The people did not turn to him who struck them, nor inquire of the word, sorry, nor inquire of the Lord of hosts. So the Lord cut off from Israel head and tail. Palm branch should read in one day, excuse me, the elder and honored man is the head, and the prophet who teaches uh, lies as the tail. For those who guide this people have been leading them astray, and those who are guided by them are swallowed up. Therefore the Lord does not rejoice over their young men and has no compassion on their fatherless and widows. For everyone is godless and an evildoer, and every mouth speaks folly or stupidity. For all this, his anger has not turned away, his hand is stretched out still. For wickedness burns like a fire, it consumes briars and thorns, it kindles the thickets of the forest, and they roll upward in a column of smoke. Through the wrath of the Lord of hosts, the land is scorched, and the people are like the fuel for the fire, no one spares another. They slice meat on the right, but are still hungry. They devour on the left, but are not satisfied. Each devours the flesh of his own arm. Manasseh devours Ephraim, and Ephraim devours Manasseh. Together they are against Judah. Now Manasseh and and Ephraim were both brothers, sons of Joseph, who was of uh, the people of Israel. That's why they're saying that they're fighting amongst each other, even those who are tight brothers with those who are their um, extended family. For all this, his anger has still not turned away, and his hand is stretched out still. Woe to those who decree iniquitous decrees, and the writers who keep writing oppression, to turn aside the needy from justice, and to rob the poor of my people of their right, that widows may be their spoil, and that they may make the fatherless their prey. What will you do on the day of punishment, in the ruin that will come from afar? To whom will you flee for help, and where will you leave your wealth? Nothing remains but to crouch among the prisoners, or fall among the slain. For all this, his anger has still not turned away. His hand is stretched out still. Revelation sixteen seventeen through seventeen eighteen, The seventh bowl. The seventh angel poured out his bowl into the air. And a loud voice came out of the temple from the throne, saying, It is done. And there were flashes of lightnings, of lightning, rumblings, peals of thunder, and a great earthquake such as there had never been since man was on the earth. So great was that earthquake. The great city was split into three parts, and the cities of the nations fell, and God remembered Babylon the Great to make her drain the cup of the sorry, the, the cup of the wine of the fury of his wrath. For every island fled away, and no mountains were to be found. And great hailstones, about one hundred pounds each, fell from heaven on people, and they cursed God for the plague of the hail, because the plague was so severe. Then one of the seven angels, who had uh, the seven bowls, came to me and said, Come, I will show you the judgment of the great prostitute, who is seated on many waters with whom the kings of the earth have committed sexual immorality and with and with the and with the wine of whose sexual immorality the dwellers of the dwellers on earth have become drunk and he carried me away in the spirit into a wilderness and i saw a woman sitting on a scarlet beast that was full of blasphemous names and it had seven heads and 10 horns the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet, and adorned with gold and jewels and pearls, holding in her hand a cup full of abominations and the impurities of her sexual immorality. And on her forehead was written a name of mystery, Babylon the Great, mother of prostitutes and of earth's abominations. And I saw the woman, drunk with the blood of the saints, with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. When I saw her, I marveled greatly, But the angel said to me, Why do you marvel? I will tell you the mystery of the woman and of the beast with the seven hens and the ten horns that carries her. The beast that you saw was, and is not, and is about to rise from the bottomless pit and go to destruction. And the dwellers on earth, whose names have not been written in the book of life, 
from the foundation of the world will marvel to see the beast because it was and is not and is to come. So it's going to die and then it's gone for a while and it comes back. Mm -hmm, I lost my spot. Okay. This calls for a mind with wisdom. The seven heads are seven mountains on which is the, uh, on which the woman is seated. They are also seven kings, five of whom have fallen. One is, so lives today. The other has not yet come. And when he does come, he must remain only a little while. As for the beast that was and is not, it is an eighth, but it belongs to the seven and it goes to destruction. And the ten horns that, uh, that you saw are ten kings who have not uh, yet received royal power, but they are to receive royal authority as kings uh, for one hour together with the beast. These are of one mind, and they hand over their power and authority to the beast. They will make war on the lamb, and the lamb will conquer them, for he is Lord of Lord and King of Kings, and those with him are called chosen and faithful. Sorry, are called and chosen and faithful. And the Lord, sorry, the Lord, and the angel said to me, the waters that you saw where the prostitute is seated are peoples and multitudes and nations and languages. And the ten horns that you saw, they and the beast will hate the prostitute. They will make her desolate and naked and devour her flesh and burn her up with fire. For God has put it into their hearts to carry out this, or carry out his purpose by being of one mind and handing over their royal power to the beast until the words of God are fulfilled. And the woman that you saw is the great city that has dominion over the kings of the earth. Behold the word of the Lord. <laughs> 